Christians too. Uh, the sediment is made up out of the shells of a, a critter called, uh, they're called radiolaria. Mm. And the shell of each one is about the size of the head of a pin. Mm. And they, they extract silica from seawater and they build their shells out of it uh, mm. defensively. And uh, it's a good structural material, I guess. And then they, they live in the sunlit zone near the surface of the sea. And then when they die, their shells drop to the bottom and pile up on the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, and in the deep ocean, the only thing which makes it to the bottom of the ocean as a sediment is uh, a little bit of organic matter and then these radiolarian shells. Mm. So the bottom of the sea uh, is carpeted, if you will, with layers of radiolarian shells. And then they're very chemically or physically reactive. So the material reacts with seawater and recrystallizes so that after a while you have, you have sil uh, silica crystals mm. all intergrown with each other. And the most of the fossil radiolaria are lost and are just lost to recrystallization, mm. mm -hmm. but some are not. Mm. So then a lot of the, if the chart's not too badly beat up, you can often find here and there in little black specks, and the black mm. specks are radiolarian shells, and you can see them. Visible to the naked eye? Oh, uh, the black specks sometimes are, and oh. then if you have a, a powerful hand lens, 10x hand mm -hmm. lens or something like that, you can see wow. them. I, I so, have you, you never can tell. Should I bring my hand lens? I should probably bring sure. it. Sure. Um, how come some of it's green and some of it's red? Okay, well, let me let me wrap on with my tail here. Yeah. So in the Franciscan, which has been through a lot of metamorphism and things like that, most of the cherts uh, lose their... Uh, they, they, initially, they have bedding layers. There's mm -hmm. very clearly layers. Like in the headlands. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly like the headlands. There's a big mm -hmm. block. Um, let's see if I can remember the guy's name. Canellus, I think. When you oh, come yeah. up, when you come up the road from from uh, from uh, the river road, and you come up to Casadero, about halfway along, there's a Mr. Canellus who has gravel yard people. And he yeah. has he has a elaborate uh, Thanksgiving decoration at his mailbox right now. Yeah, you can pick yeah. out where it is. And yeah. Just past that, to the north, there's a big cliff, oh. which is cut out of a radiolarian chert like that. Oh which still has the original layering in it. It's not oh, strongly metamorphosed. You can still see that. Yeah, you there. see, you might stop oh, there and take a look at the okay. layers. Yeah. Then that material continues to react as it's varied and metamorphosed. And what you see here is chert, which has lost its original layered character, been all recrystallized. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that happens is that it, it's, it breaks up under stress. And then some of it mobilizes in water and it redeposits in these cracks and you get quartz veins like this. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll see, as this is starting to develop a little of this, you start to develop other colors too. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. uh, this green might show up, but yeah. more commonly various yellows and browns and various hues will show up. And you'll see that sometimes in, in detrital blocks like the chunks in your creek. Mm. And that's just different oxidation. That's caused by different oxidation states of the iron, as we would say. Oh, okay. So uh, it's the iron is causing the right. coloration. Right. The iron is the main coloring mineral in rocks. Oh, really? So okay. when it's in the plus two state, chemically it is, missing two electrons, then the compounds it makes are green. Huh. And when it has a plus three charge, then the compounds it makes are red or brown. Wow. So this is relatively unweathered or unreacted. Uh, oceanic mm. crustal rocks, including the cherts, initially are all are all green. Uh -huh. The iron's all in the plus two state. Uh -huh. And then when they approach the surface and they pick up surface water and things like that, they become more oxidized and you get uh, plus three ions. Mm. And mm. things all change to uh, browns and yellows and things like wow. that.